Ladies and gentlemen, Keith from iRepair Autos. Today I'm going to show you how to change out your ventilation bezel. Shows you the vents. You can direct the airflow up, down, left, right. You can also close it. These things tend to disconnect and the fins are no longer directionable. You can no longer direct where you want the air to blow. The little lever cracks and falls apart and disappears down inside the, uh, the ventilation port. And it looks just pure old ghetto. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that, how to take it apart, which is a big part of the video, how to reassemble and reinstall. So let's get started. Hey, but before we get started, I know you've been meaning to subscribe. So do that now, thanks. To successfully remove this vent without breaking anything, there are three tabs, one located on the left, one located on the right and one located on the top that we have to depress and open out. Start by depressing the one on the top and holding it open. Leave the screwdriver in place to hold that tab open. Next, focus on the right tab, opening the right tab pull out the bezel slightly on the right side that will hold that right tab open just like that next focus on opening the left tab while maintaining pressure on the top and then once the tab is opened slightly pull forward on the bezel to hold that tab in that same position just like that then move back to the right tab open it a little bit more pulling the bezel forward slightly and pull out the module. Once the module is out you can remove the screwdriver and just gently pull out the bezel and remove it from the dashboard entirely. I like to move the vent closed while removing it. Next we're going to remove the tabs that are holding the silver bezel around the AC vent to take this little silver bezel off and you may need to use a screwdriver to uh, remove the final one taking care not to break it. The only way to properly rebuild this is to completely take off the front fins and you're going to take them off one by one they slide out and you want to put them in an orientation where you can remember how they go so that you don't have any issues when it comes time to putting them back in they're held into these little grommets And I just take a screwdriver and I pop them out one by one. Once everything is out, you can then remove this guy. This fell out earlier, but this holds the spine of all of these when you're rebuilding them. So I'll put that right next to each other. So the goal is that you put the spine back, the spine through here, and rebuild all the fins back up with this fin being connected down and around that main piece so that uh, you have continuity, okay? Now go around that little section right there like that. Pay close attention to the orientation of the pins. This pin goes to the points to the right, this pin points to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. That's important when we're putting back the spine and connecting that back. So I'm going to be using some crazy glue just to get this thing going.
Just a touch guys, not too much. You don't want it to be too permanent. Picking the third one. This is the one that's causing all the grief. Just a touch. Okay, everything is pretty much in place. Now what we gotta do is, gotta introduce it to this. Paying close attention to this middle fin, right here where this base is gonna go. Now, I just broke one off. Not a big deal. I have to re-glue it. I'm not gluing these down permanently. And just rested it in place. What I'm gonna do now is snap in to place the rest of these items. When I say snap in, I mean they're little notches that we've gone over already. Making sure that each one is in its respectable place before we do anything to cause a disruption of the system. feels like it may have come loose I don't know if it has so we're gonna proceed with the other two now I'm gonna have to surgically put this one back in place okay now that everything is in place what really keeps this together is this make sure it's right the wider side goes to the top Now remember that these are glued in place and we kind of want to not free them up. That's the back side. Okay, fully working. All right, so we're back. See that little yellow thing right there? That little sensor that reads temperature coming out from the AC. Couple things to note. There's a little port right here. That port goes into the door port through that hole right there. And everything should be as easy as just sliding it back in place. Do not put any kind of pressure on the vents themselves. And that's how you do it, guys. Kind of a pain. But once it's done, it's done and it looks really nice and it functions. As always, everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thanks and peace out.